Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to RimWorld. It's been a little while. So long, in fact, I almost forgot about this scenario right here. We are playing in a vault. Pretty cool stuff, huh? And also these are apparently not connected to the grid. That's less good. Why is it not connected to the grid? Eh, apparently it should be. Too much power? Not enough power? Anyway, I had this idea for a scenario way, way back in April, which is when Steam says I last played RimWorld, and the idea would be we start in a underground vault, little Fallout-themed uh, start here, because that seemed kind of fun. What, what are you wearing? Wearing something over your vault uniform. A vest. Cool. All right. So yeah, neat little thing, isn't it? Just uh, giving myself a tour because I actually forgot building this. Yeah, so the idea of this scenario is, you know, we start off, everything's built, we've got volcanic winter, toxic fallout outside. We are, as far as I can tell, completely unarmed. So that could be a problem. Uh, but... Um... Is that really actually going to affect our water? It is under... it is underground. Unless... Do I have anything leading outside? Yeah, there is something going on out here. So... That means... Okay, so there's some kind of pumping going on out here. But we're not going to go outside, so... What we need to do instead is... Do I have a water pumpy turning off thing? There we go. Um, hmm. I mean, it's in the wall. Kind of problematic, actually. Uh, let's see. How do we disconnect this in a safe fashion? Of course, then again, this could just be the outflow. Hmm. A good question. Hmm. Well, actually, I might... Well, no, I, I think that is the outflow. You know what, we'll just, we'll just see what happens. And we can't actually build a uh, water treatment. That That is something we can do, isn't it? Reserve a water, then using a valve to disconnect the wells to protect the water from contamination before it is too late. You can also use a deep well to access uncontaminated water or install a water treatment system. Okay. Well, this is a deep water well right here. This is a pumping station. I mean, I could just turn off the pumping station. Let's see what happens if we do that. I want to... I want to believe. I also recall very distinctly, and, you know, let me know in the comments if I made a mistake here. I was thinking of making the Gary Vault, except, you know, maybe, maybe with a different name. Alright, that apparently did not do anything for us. Mind, uh, yeah, go ahead and turn that back on, will you? There you go. You could have eaten that at a table. Anyway, um, another thing is, we, we've got a modest supply of food here, but we are going to be stuck underground for a while, so we should probably get people started. Oh, and I'm actually going to have to go over the mod list to see what, uh, what we're using here, but we're going to want to dig out some kind of, uh, you know, hydroponic farm thing. Because, of course, you know, it's vault -Tec. they, uh... They always have something wrong with their vaults. In this case, there's apparently no uh, no security, no guns, no uh, no food source. You know, it's just what we've been stocked with. So, yeah, I think if we dig out something down here, we'll be fine. Let's also kind of oh, we haven't even set manual priorities. Let's do that now, shall we? So as we just kind of you know dig along here and build our happy little town. 
All right, so you're going to be top priority doctor. You're going to be a uh, second priority doctor, and you will also be a top priority doctor. And bed rest for everyone. Because, you know, bed rest is kind of important. And let's see. Wardeny person, entertainy person. There you go. And we'll set you to be two on that. You're really good at handling, so that'll be a top priority. But that. But that. We're, we'll want to fiddle around with this by and by. Because, you know, obviously, it's a, little, it's a little rough here. If I just set everything to... I mean, you're at least passionate. We'll give you a little bit of priority there. I mean, if every if everything is set to uh, one priority, then nothing really gets done. Actually, no. Let's make that a high priority for you. That'll be slightly less high priority. I'll be honest with you. When it comes to RimWorld, I generally... Everything is one or two. Or not at all. Yeah, you know what? We'll... We'll let everyone have a, a four, so if they're not doing anything else, they can go ahead and take care of that. Actually, maybe what I should do is uh, set clean, like, all this at one. Cleaning it at, and hauling at one for just about everyone. Then everything else, a two or a three. Not necessarily a bad idea, but uh, we'll... Uh, We'll see how we want to do these things. Kind of spread things around there. And we'll add more priorities and stuff. We'll figure that out. But at least for the moment, I think we've... Can I actually dump any of these stones anywhere? You know what? We'll just, we'll just dump them in here for now. We're not going anywhere. Don't need food. Don't want corpses. Now, just to, just to get these out of here... Oh, and you have run out of power. You have enough fuel for 50 days. You are... you're out. We've got a fair amount of power here. And a fairly good set of circuit breakers. I mean... One, 1800... yeah, Yeah. I think we could still end up with a bit of an explosion, but... It'll be less bad than... Than it could be if we didn't do anything. Let's see how far this particular tunnel goes. I mean, we can see there's clearly something down here. A lot of unowned, uh... You know what? I think we've got enough power. We can probably... Okay. Probably keep things... Going. Is everyone a couple for the most part, by the way? Let's, uh... Let's see. You've got a wife, you've got a husband, you've got a acquaintance, you've got a husband, you've got a wife, husband, wife. So it's only only Elliot who is not in a relationship with anyone. One, two, three, four. Seven. Wow. That's gotta be kinda kinda lonely. And imagine that. Being locked in a vault with nothing but monogamous couples. Assuming these are monogamous couples and not swingers. You never know. This is the future. The distant year of 5500. Social norms could have changed by then. Probably be careful not to dig too far. But, on the other hand, we should dig reasonably far because then if we get an infestation, where the heck did the ever rocks go? Surely that's not all the rocks. Oh, we hit compact uh, components, compact machinery. That's that's some good stuff right there. Let's uh, let's start digging that out. And somewhere in here, I think we'll put the um, hydroponic. Oh wait, wait, wait! No, we won't because we don't actually have hydroponics. Do wait, do we? I'm pretty sure we don't. Where would that be? Production. Nope. Nope. We've got nothing. 
Maybe I should set up a line of uh, stone here. Maybe a couple of lines. Because then, and you know, again, bear with me here. If, if we do, again, we have no weapons, so we're kind of screwed. Oh, I, you know what? Live and learn. Didn't realize I could, uh... uh. Oh, come on. I want to set, set the settings here. Yeah, I can actually, uh, shift click. Why did I never try that? Yeah, if we have some lines of defense here, because this works a little bit like cover and it'll also slow down any, uh, any bad guys. Let's actually expand this one, because this will be like the edge. So anyone who wants to, if, if any bugs like spawn down here, then they'll have a couple of layers of stone to get across before being able to actually reach us. And that's good. That's very good. Probably. Need warm clothes. At least six of our colonists. Ah, but you know what? It's nice and toasty warm inside the vault, so we probably have nothing to worry about. I mean, look at look at this place. Ruben, why are you not sleeping with your... Who is your owner, anyway? Do you have an owner? Let's find out. Uh... You know what? That's not where I would find that. <laughs> oh, I don't have Ruben trained for anything. Oh, this is new. I wonder if that's a mod or if that's uh, nine years old. Don't want to. I don't really want you to attack. Hmm. Yeah, rescue, haul, and hunt. All good things. Oh, you don't have a master. All right. I'm pretty sure this is a... Yeah, self, self tend for... Oh my god, not everyone can tend. Or no, that's because they don't have doctoring as a thing. That's right. Pretty sure this is a mod right here. I literally just fired up the game today after, uh, you know, being suggested I do some more RimWorld on uh, the last stream I did, which would have been yesterday, assuming this goes up on Monday. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played, but I thought, hey, you know what? Yeah, never really, kind of dark in here. You never really forget how to play RimWorld, in a way. It's all there. We also have all these guest beds, because apparently when I built this back in April, April me thought, uh, past Gaslight thought that this would be useful. And I guess he was right in a way. That crazy, crazy dog. Anyway. You know, it also occurs to me we are going to be short on... On, uh, stuff. Stuff in this case being wood. Because we have, well, we have 300 things of wood and... You know, this is all well and good here. You know, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. This is a, a pretty nice uh, thing. For the most part. You know what I should do is I should build some shelving or lockers over here. Maybe even tables. Put tables in all of these little apartments. That would be pretty sweet. Because that should help minimize the whole eight without table issue. Also, I should probably address, I mean, you probably figured this one out without me having to say anything, but I might as well say something. Uh, this was all built, of course, with dev mode, and that's why we can't see what's out here, because I refogged the map way back in April, so even I don't know what's waiting for us out there. Though I do know from knowing myself, it's a mountainous area, there's almost definitely a river running through it, because I almost never play on a map that doesn't have a river, just because I, I find the river so dang aesthetically pleasing. Where, why, why are you not powered, Mr. Lightbulb? And you're not powered either. Like, is there, is there really not enough juice? Hmm. I don't think there's, uh, like, uh, I don't think it works in this game where there's, like, only so much, uh, actually, you're on now, and you're on now.
Hmm. Oh, there we go. It just needed to be reconnected for whatever reason. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think, like, the power conduits can only carry, like, X amount of power. I'm pretty sure it's a, uh... There's a thing where, yeah, like, it's either lit or it's... Or it, it's either carrying power or it's not carrying power. All right. Now, the ever cool thing about these vault walls, well, not these vault walls, but uh, the exterior walls, is that they are incredibly durable, which makes sense. I mean, this is supposed to be a vault after all. Well, at water contamination, that's still... I don't think that should be a problem. Because as far as I know, Though, as we know, there is, uh, somewhere out here. Visible power conduit, vault walls, there we go. This does connect to something outside. I think it's like a waste thing. Maybe this is just a warning here, just in case. I mean, it might be there's a water treatment plant out there, and that's where all our waste is going. I don't remember. To be honest with you. Also, I just noticed, what? A five-finger fillet table. Well, isn't that fun? Does this need a- does this need chairs? It might need chairs. Anyway. We are also working diligently at some research. What, what are we doing here? What are these lockers for? They are for clothes. Yeah. I don't think I can- actually build any- yeah, I can't build anything af off of this because we don't have the research. But yeah. Overall, we've got a pretty nice thing. We've got our overseer's office. We can talk to people. Private overseer's bathroom, just in case. Kind of curious why I didn't put a bathroom for the guests. Oh, and it also costs money to stay here, apparently, because past gaslight fought. That would be cool as well. Ain't life grand. Ooh, what are you doing over there? And was... I, I assume you were praying or meditating or something, but that icon, that's... That's new. Ooh. The next item, art, or furniture she creates will be two quality levels higher than usual. And what are Nielsen's skills? Let's see. Well, you are a super artistic person. So... Do I have an art bench? I do not have an art bench. We could build an art bench. And I, honestly, I don't really see why, why not. We can make some art. Then again, we don't actually have... We don't have, like, a super good reason for doing that, do we? Might as well build a tailoring bench. That seems like it'd be what bad temperature. Bad temperature. It's eight degrees in here. That's that is a perfectly fine temperature. I'm pretty sure this setup is mod related. I like it. You know, we can uh, queue up. I want to get us to pulse charged munitions because charge rifles are pretty cool. I don't. I don't know if we'll have the resources in here. I'm also assuming whatever is out here must be outside. Because we can't see it. And that just makes sense, I guess. Maybe. Might make sense, it might not. I don't want to mine too close to our walls here. Because if an infestation spawns, they'll be able to chew through that like it was paper. So let's, uh, let's also, let's, I don't know. We'll drig, drig, drill, mine an exploratory shaft that away. And perhaps a shaft this away and maybe even a shaft you know I've got a bad feeling about this let's uh let's be careful drilling exploratory shafts in this direction then again I didn't put an exterior wall on this as we can tell by this and there's an open area here I guess we'll see can I build copies of 
I cannot copy the lights because we also don't actually have any of the tech for the vaults. Interesting. Oh. Did you, did you notice that? The screen jumped for a second. I'm pretty sure that is a sign that uh, some sort of meteor landed outside. Isn't that fun? Anyway, so, you know, we're just, uh, we're sitting down here and not everyone's keeping busy, which is unfortunate, but, uh, not unexpected. The 9th of April, May, foggy rain outside, volcanic winter, toxic fallout. It's, uh, interesting times. Man, we haven't even hit any any steel or anything. That's uh that's a bit of a problem because we are going to need stuff. Oh, I actually built the bench. In retrospect, that may not have been the best idea. But we are making reasonable progress on our uh learning of things, so once we get some uh, guns, that'll be great. Though we are going to need multi-analyzers, and that requires plasteel and advanced components. None of which we have at the moment. Which is... Aw, oh, poor Reuben. I not have a proper bed. Who, uh... Where's Elliot? Sleep. Oh, it... Wait. Does Elliot not have a bed? Oh, there you are. All right, we'll give you to Elliot. I think Elliot deserves to have some company. There you go. Wait, how come I can't assign this? That's curious. I know I could, at some point in the past, do stuff like that. Which means I am missing a mod that I would normally have equipped. All right, we are producing some hot water here. Yeah, we could increase power a little bit just to make sure this is uh, capped off, I think. I think that's what that would do. Anyway, the important thing is that our, our happy little colony is kind of surviving as best as a happy little colony like this can be expected to survive anyway. There we are, we'll, uh, we'll expand this a little bit more. And maybe, maybe put some stuff here, and here. Until eventually we actually, like, build this into something. Oh, we struck compacted steel. That's the good stuff. You're actually good at mining, right? You are, good. So we've only got our good miners mining. And our good haulers are hauling. Yeah. Now, if I recall, I think the reason I don't have, like, everything shelves is because shelves look cool, but they're not, like, super efficient to stack. Like, I, I can merge them if they're on the same shelf, but I can't, like, merge this into that, so... Yeah. It's a bit of a downside, but I'm pretty sure that's done because otherwise it would be, like, really, really... Probably processing intensive to like try to figure out, oh hey, you know, you're in this stock, like, because each shelf is like a different stockpile, so it'd be like, okay, so to merge like with this, we have to check every single stockpile on the map, and that would be, of course, just crazy. Though I wish pawns were a little smarter at like, hey, like when they're going to store something, if they're like, hey, you know, is there a stockpile that already has stuff in it? Is there room? I mean, that might be a bit processing intensive as well, but... You know. A man can dream. And also it seems like the toxic fallout has not, uh... Cause sometimes it might, you know, even before the end of the first episode. Disable. I mean, how long can this last? It will last for... Well, it's lasted three points, almost four days. It can last longer, can last shorter. You know, I didn't even check. What storyteller are we on? We are on... 
Ah, Diego Dyer on Strive to Survive because I didn't feel like having, I didn't feel like uh, losing is fun. Apparently I didn't feel like uh, blood and dust. So yeah, there we are. Adventure story might be too easy. Strive to survive. That seems good enough for now and, you know, we'll probably ratchet up the difficulty as the need arises. But for now, that is going to do it for this first episode in our brand new vault dwelling adventure. So like with any new series, it's always extra double super special important to ever hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I hope to see you all in the next video.